Yo, what's up, friends? Jay here, and we got some Madden Ultimate Team for you. A little few new players. We got Amon Green and Deion Sanders of the Thanksgiving since last time I've shown you my lineup. And right there, we're getting lit up. Amon Green, negative three yards. Here, rolling back, go for the face catch, overthrow Mike Evans. Third and 13, and he hits me with the blitz. We just throw it away, and I'm like, all right, let's see his offense first. And right there, I saw he sent in week three slant, or a 4-3 stack. And I'm like, all right, I'm probably playing a problem right follower. And then there I see uh, the Madden Ultimate Team offense of Pistol Bun. And I have decided so far, we're probably playing a problem right fanboy. <laughs> and then there he makes a little good read right there, good dump off by him. And I can usually lock this offense up pretty well, but this guy had some good reads and some. It's, it didn't go my Hadouken! way. But we get the Hadouken! Hadouken! And we get the fumble and we recover. Ryan Kerrigan, Jason Hatcher, the duo. And I know the weakness of weak. Slant three, my friends. I do. The flats. And I'm going to abuse it. I know where the blitzes are coming from. I know he, he's this guy is going to be in 4-3 stack. And he's going to be in 4-6 normal. And we know what we're doing the rest of this game, my friends. Yes, we do. And then there, Sam, Mystery Santana Moss is going huge. Going huge. Get in there. And he's rumbling. He's doubling. He's in the end zone, my friends. And give a little shimmy shimmy. Oh, you celebrate. And we're up 7-0. And then going back on defense. He's running a little. This is what it. I should be locking up the and look at that duck and he catches it. I just I don't know. I don't know. Um then we get our presser in, Jason Hatcher going huge, and then there he second and ten running our counter. I don't know. I the plays I run should be locking that up and then Eric Berry whiffs on the INT. The plays I should just there's sometimes I absolutely just lock up pistol bunch, counter runs, and then there's other times where I don't lock it up. And I it's just I don't know. I really don't know. And then there, we hit Ellington in the flats because we know he's going to be sending that pressure on the right side every single time. So we're going to abuse it. And he has to use that all by his lonesome if he wants to stop me. And Ellington is a beast. He is a man among boys. Does that sound about right? And then we're now we're giving it back to Amon Green. We're going to be running a little. And then there, that was a bad read by me. So now we're going to third and six. We definitely need to get the first down. There we got Reggie Wayne right over the middle. Hangs on to the ball. That's why we picked him up just for that play. 98 catching traffic. And then we're going back to trio offset in here. See a receiver screen. I know screens definitely can abuse what he's running. I mean, I know enough about this game. I know how to beat. Yeah, and then I see he's in cover invert. Cover two invert. And we're gonna we're gonna wanna remember that because there's gonna be something really important. And now he's driving on me, rolling to the outside, knew it was coming. I'm gonna lock up that all day. You cannot run singles bunch three PA end around versus me. You just can't. And then there he goes and he hits the face catch on third and seventeen. He hadn't shown it yet. Now that I know he can do it, I, I'm switching the man defense now that I cover two man and cover one man. Now that I see it, but he's making the right reads. He's I'm getting quick hiked left and right, so I have to... It's hard to get everything set up the way that I want it. And then there, champ barely drops the INT. I could have ended the game right there. Could have ended the game. And then there he does. He checks down to his running back. Good play by him. Second and seven. And then there, he does PA fork. Oh my goodness. And then here, see what I mean? I'm gonna lock that up. And now watch this. I'm furious. I'm furious. I know he's going for it. And for some weird fucking reason, I turned on to Fairly. Oh my god. I'm irate. Now we're tied 14 14. At halftime. He has ball. This is a worst case scenario. Because he's definitely shown he can move the ball on me somehow with this offense. I've seen it. I've, I've played 300 Mutt games. I've probably seen this offense on the And they're making me, making me look silly. And then there, I accidentally hit the run commit button to the right of all places. He could, could have had a touchdown. And then now he's running the screen again. Just, it's hard to run pistol screens unless you roll back. And then here over the middle, Jason Hatcher. It doesn't feel like, you know, getting that interception there. Don't get the animation. Uh, and then look at this play. It was a good read by him. I wasn't expecting that. Hadn't seen the verticals yet. 
So we need to score quick. In my eyes right now, I'm struggling to stop him, so I'm hoping to score quick right here. And I'm waiting. I'm trying to get him out of 4-3 stack. I'm running the ball to the left, trying to get him out of 4-3 stack. This is what I do. Now I see he's in 4-6 normal. I think he's in cover 2 invert. And this is how we abuse cover 2 invert. But he swats it. And I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? So I'm just like, all right, we're running the exact same play. He's going to stay in it. But we're going to throw it to somebody a little bit quicker this time, my friends. Yes, my friends. And we get it over the top to Marius Thomas with, like, the 50-yard, 60-yard bomb. Who knows? And we're going to tie up the game. And now we're in the uh, – we scored with enough time where he's not going to be able to run off the clock the entire way unless he does a serious three, four yards out of pop type of offense. And I'm going to get the ball back. And if I do get it back, I'm going to go for two for sure. But we're just thinking, all right, we just got to stop him. Now he's checking down. He's still moving the ball pretty well on me. And then I did, I'm keep playing that tight end because a lot of people will throw it to their first read, and I'm just assuming his first read is the tight end. And then, oh, God, every time I switch to that fireman zone three, I didn't get the blitz. And it just, uh, I struggle when I'm getting quick height sometimes. And then Luke Keekly makes the reflection if he would have picked it. And then there we go. We get our we get our pressure in the backfield on that play. And then there, huge play by Champ Bailey. And look at this. I'm not lagging the game. I have it in slow motion. This guy just lost all composure. All composure gone, my friends. And the epic music is back. And now I'm I'm all in milk the clock mode. I, I know I can score on him quick because I know what he's running on defense. But we're just going to take our yards. Santana Moss taking a little tan, a little hitch rope. Now we're going to go back to the HB counter. Oh, I'm on green. Going to roll the outside. He's going to get the five yards that we need. He's having a good thing. Now we're going to play action over the middle. We see Reggie Wayne. We have him there for the high catch in traffic. Now we're going to run. This could have been a dangerous play, folks. It's a read option. He locks it up. So now we're like, oh, shit, 12, second and 12. And then there I get sacked. He sent the house. And now it's like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I throw a – he was wide open, but I throw a duck. And Demarius Thomas comes down with the ball. Oh, it owed me one. I might have got a little bit lucky there, but we're going to say it owed me one. And then now, running to the outside to green, and we're like, okay, screen's going to be open. Let's get the first down. With the screen is open, my friends. Demarius Thomas gets the first down. We're going to route the clock. Thank you, friends, for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and stay beautiful. Boyokan Diaz Braz. Have a good one.